episode of Insane Craft, we create a brand new infinity weapon that might even be able to match Sunday's power himself. This might possibly be my favorite weapon so far, so stick around to the end to find out what it is. And if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor by hitting the like button down below and subscribing to you guys new. Now without further ado, let's hop straight into this episode of Insane Craft. Okay, so we're getting straight into today's episode of Insane Craft. People have been getting stronger and stronger here on the server. Specifically, Ian, with his brand new infinity like bomb that literally just destroys masses of land wherever he shoots it. And it's really dangerous and, and painful for me specifically. So in today's episode, we're gonna be making a brand new infinity weapon that allows us to start taking some of that power for ourselves. And trust me, this thing is pretty overpowered. But boy, have we got a lot of things to make. Check out all of these ingredients that are gonna go into this weapon. So let's hop straight into it. First things first is I'm gonna head into my pocket dimension because that is where I keep most of my things. First thing we need is mastercraft alloys and we have a lot of those. The next thing we need to make is this launch drive, which is a deviant wing, some ion crystals and some power drives. We actually only have two ion crystals left. So let me just go ahead and get a couple more of those real quick. There we go. And then also do we have the, what is the other thing, power drive? Oh, we do. We have 54 power drives. Okay. And now what about the deviant wing? So we have a deviant wing as well. Again, we only have one of those. So let me just go ahead and do our favorite thing to do around here real quick. There we go. So now I should be able to make this launch drive. No problem. There we go. The next thing we're going to need is something called an electron recycler, which is pretty simple. Master charge redstone, which we definitely have. Deviant gold, which is a new drop from piglins, which shouldn't be too hard to grab. And then a glow blood solution, which takes a glowing sack, which is actually a new thing that we need to go ahead and grab. So we just need to find a piglin real quick, and then we just need to murder him. Okay, so here's a piglin right here. Let's just go ahead and... There we go. Okay, he is evil now. He's very evil. Now let's go ahead and hit him with the scepter of the overlord. So now that he's our friend, and he won't kill us, we can go ahead and kill him. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of things I want to say right here. And there we go. We got our... Wait, did I super mutate him by accident? Crap. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. This is the guy that we're looking for. And there we go. Now we've got some Steven Gordon. That's literally all we need because we can just take this back now and uh, duplicate it with our Master Stone. It it's, it's pretty awesome. But before we do that, we're going to need to go to a different dimension, that being the minus dimension. So let's hop into the lava right here and make our way over there. Wait, do I have to be in the overworld to do that? I, I, I guess I've never tried it. I, I guess maybe I need to be in the overworld. And here we go into the mind dimension. So we're actually looking for a very specific place, which I have been before. Let me just cut back to once we once we get to that spot. Okay, so we're in this blue biome and there's gonna be some things that we need to kill in here. Nothing that I see just yet. Uh, oh, it looks like we have, a, we have an angler right here. So we're actually, oh, oh, and these guys, and these guys. Okay, so let's just go ahead and use our guitar to go ahead and kill these guys and grab some of the stuff we need. So there we go, we have a glow bulb. We're gonna be needing that later. I wonder if we can find anything else down here that we're gonna need. There's like these little guys that stand up like, and look kind of tall. Definitely not Sigils, because they look they look a lot taller than him. Oh wait, what is it? Oh, it's one of the bugs. Okay, 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 there we go, there we go. That's actually the glowing sack that we need to make those potions. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is actually something we're gonna need later. So uh, I'm gonna set a waypoint here, but this is actually something we're gonna need in a little bit, and you guys will see exactly why we need that. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, we got we got the stick guy. This is the little stick guy I was talking about. He's like short and tall, but also short. And he didn't drop what he needed. Crap. We need him to drop what we need from him. Is is, is there like a spawner here maybe that we can activate? Because he spawned right here, so maybe he's gonna respawn right here. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got another one right here. There we go, we got it, we got it. The organic fuse. Now, I think this is the last thing that we need from this dimension for now. So let's head back to our... Uh, wait, no, I could have just gone to my pocket dimension in that dimension. I'm stupid. Let's just go back to our pocket dimension and make everything we need to make so far. So now that we have most of the ingredients we need, we can make a couple of these other things, like the electron recycler. Let's go ahead and make one of those. And then the next thing we need to make is this crystallized alloy. So we can do shimmering glass. We, we definitely have all this stuff. Oh my goodness, I made a few. Now we need to make ourselves some crystallized bone, which uh, seems like it should be pretty easy. We need plated bone. There we go. This next part, we need ourselves some bone blocks. So we we should be able to go ahead and do that pretty easily there. And then crystallized gel. There we go. And then prismatic calcium, which I think we already have. Yeah, okay, there we go. And then we got ourselves a crystallized bone, which we can then go ahead and just duplicate again. And now we should have everything we need to make this crystallized alloy. There we go. Perfect. Now there's a last a piece of the ingredient is might quite possibly the hardest part of it all because we need all of these brand new items, such as the super mutated spider eye, which is from super mutated cave spiders, deviant iron, which is from deviant iron golems. Now, 
high tolerance wire which we need metal branches from the metal tree in the mining dimension for. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that spider eye, the iron golem, and the metal branch real quick. Alright, so we have ourselves an iron golem, now let's go ahead and, oh my goodness, why does he look like a chicken? Why, why does he look like he's doing the funky chicken dance? Okay, well hey, let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick. And there we go, we got ourselves some deviant iron. Now it's time to find a cave spider real fast. Okay, okay, we got ourselves the deviant cave spider. Now let's go ahead and super mutated. Oh my goodness, this guy looks scary. I just need to go ahead and hit him with my scepter of overlord and we should be fine. Oh, okay, I think I think we're fine. I think we're, we're not fine, we're not fine, we're not fine. I think we're fine. Okay, we are fine, we are fine. He's, he doesn't want to damage us anymore. Okay, Ooh, now we can just go ahead and kill this guy. Oh my goodness, I almost threw him into the void. That would have been terrible. That would have literally been the worst case scenario, okay? And there we go. We got ourselves the super mutated spider eye. So from this biome that we went a while back where we had to kill those spiders that kept falling from the sky, we basically have this bridge at the end of it. And if we go down here, there's a pretty scary thing which we can't access right now. And if we try to, we will get vaporized. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and knock down these trees and we should be able to get ourselves some of those metal sticks, I think it's called. It just takes a little while to break it clearly. Come on. And there we go, we got ourselves a metal branch. Let's just get a few more of those and then we can head on back home. So now that we have all of this, we should be able to go ahead and make ourselves the high tolerance wire. There we go. Now the next thing we need is the signal receiver, which again, we have plated bones, synthetic fiber, the glow bulb, which is all that easy. But the one thing that's not gonna be so easy is the glowing globes. Now the way we get the glowing globes is we actually need to like take on pretty much a boss. And to get the things to summon that boss, we need to make ourselves a crystal pickaxe, which looks like it should be pretty simple. I think, I think we have most of the stuff right here. So let's go ahead and make the dimensional capacitor like that. Now I should have everything I need to go ahead and make this pickaxe. Oh, we need more crystallized alloy. Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and make another one of those. And then we can get ourselves the crystal pickaxe. Now the next thing we need is the illumination stone, which again is just glow blood solution. And then this, it looks like. Okay, well this shouldn't be too hard. There we go. We got a hollow void stone. And then we need to just make this. And then we just need to go ahead and make this. And there we go. We got ourselves the illumination stone. Now let's head back into the minor dimension because, uh, uh, <laughs> this next part is a little bit interesting. This is the place we need to be. So basically, what this Illumination Stone is going to do is summon this thing in the middle here, which we need to basically keep powered, and these little ores around are going to light up, and we need to keep mining them with the Crystal Pickaxe, and they'll drop something that we need to feed to the guy in the middle to keep it alive. So, let's go ahead and do this. So let's summon this bad boy in, okay, and let's just look for the ones that lit up. Anything lit up? Anything lit up? Anything lit up? Um, um, uh, I don't see anything lit up. Okay, there's one lit up right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and mine this. Come on. Eight, seven, five energy remains. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. What is that? Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and feed that to that. There we go. Bring him up. Okay, so basically things are going to spawn and stuff, but we need to just go ahead and keep it all powered for three minutes. And then as long as it's powered for three minutes, we will be able to get exactly what we need. Okay, let's go ahead and grab on these. And some random things might spawn along the way as well that we need to take care of. Okay, let's go ahead and feed him one of those. Well, let's go ahead and mine all this and hopefully doesn't explode is what I was hoping. Wait, a swamp of glow? Ah, get out of here, you little idiots. Okay, uh, wait, where, where's, where's the, where's the piece? Okay, they're right here. Crap, where, where are you at? 750? Okay, well, let's feed him back up. We gotta be getting close now. We gotta be getting close. Oh my god, another explosion? Are you serious? Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go ahead and feed him another one of those. Okay, wait. We, we completed it, let's go. We got ourselves the limonescent cubes. Exactly what we were looking for. Okay, oh my goodness. That was a little bit stressful, but we managed to get it all done. And now with these limonescent cubes, we can actually go ahead and create a blank argument slide, which we can then use to turn into any of these argument slides that we want. And then put it with an argumentation box in the argumentor. First things first, let's go ahead and make the argumentor. There we go, we got the argumentor. And now we, need to, we can place this down basically wherever we want. I think I'm gonna place it down right here. And now you guys can see that we have a nice little interface here. So the next thing we need to go ahead and make here is the argument box, which again, it looks pretty simple. We just need an empty data drive, digital panel, and then we should have everything we need for it. There we go. Okay, so we've got the argumentation box. Now the last thing we need is the blank argumentation slice. We need another digital panel. Let's go ahead and get that. And now we can use this blank argumentation slide to make whichever one we want, which I think might be, maybe maybe like the dash ability could be good. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so the argument slide dash. That looks like it shouldn't be too difficult. And 
now what we do is we come over to the argument tour, put the argumentation box right here and put the argument slide right here. And you guys can see that this has created something that can have argumentation slides put inside what placed in the argument tour. And right now it says the ability is dash. And you guys can see that is great. And it also lines up with the glowing seeds, which is exactly what we need. So that should be perfect for exactly what we need. And then you guys remember that box that we found earlier in the blue dimension. Now it's time to go back to that. Okay, so now if we go ahead and place this argumentation box on the argument to create it right here, we should be good to go. But first things first is I want to put the scepter of the overlord right here so we can go ahead and control whatever boss this is. And okay, here we are. Is, is this the boss in the middle here? There's like a guy inside controlling it. Well, I think we just went ahead and created him our friend. Yeah, he's our friend now. So he <laughs> He's now not gonna kill us. <laughs> oh my goodness, this, this is this is great. How, how do we kill this guy? How do we how do we kill? Do I do I have to use this maybe? Can I can I can I? Oh yeah, I see his health drop in there. And oh, he's he's going through different stages. It looks like right now I'm not taking any damage, so <laughs> I'm kind of just chilling. And there we go, we killed him. Boy, did it take a while, and we got ourselves some of the glowing seeds, just what we were looking for. The last thing we're gonna need to make is this crystallized soil, which we pretty much have everything for already. We should actually probably make a bit of it, so let me make some more of these. So let's make like, mm, yes, yeah, three should do the trick. I also grabbed some concentrated acid buckets from the boss type thing that we did earlier, where we had to go to the end of that tunnel and get acid. You guys know what I'm talking about. But now here, if I go ahead and make myself a hole right here, just like this, and then place down some of this crystallized soil and then place down an acid bucket right inside there. These unpowered crystallized soil should soon become powered. And then once they do, I can go ahead and click. Oh, look, look, there we go. This one's now powered. I can go ahead and click this bad boy with my growing seeds and um, it will start growing. It will start doing its thing. We can even actually use bone meal on this, which is like insane. Like, there we go. And now we have ourselves the exact thing we were looking for, the glowing globes. Oh my goodness, what are you? Get out of here. Okay, well, there we go. We got the glowing globes. So let's go ahead and make this island that I'm sure all of you guys have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and make the signal receiver like that. And now we can make the advanced signal receiver just like this. And now with the advanced signal receiver and everything else put together, we should be able to go ahead and make ourselves the sticky bomb launcher. Bombs can detonate to deal 50% max health damage. First of all, look at this bad boy. This thing is a cannon of mass destruction. Not only that, you guys heard what it said, right? It, it shoots sticky bombs. And as you can see, if I shoot them, we, we, we stick bombs to things, right? Well, these bombs can now be remotely detonated. If I just fly away back here, press my button, they explode. And you guys remember where I said 50% max health damage it does? Well, that's just one of the bombs. So let's say I put five sticky bombs on Ian, just like this, and exploded them, he would die in an instant. Now, these can also work by like, if I, if I put them on a block and then somebody breaks the block that they're on, they will then also explode. So I think it's time that we go ahead and give Ian a little bit of a taste of his own medicine in the explosive sector. Th th this should be pretty good. Hey there, Mr. Red Boy. Um, sorry, I can't, I can't look at you. You're too, you're too, you're too bold. You're too beneath me, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're too beneath Ian, me. Ian, you think I'm beneath you, huh? You think I'm beneath you? Last, what you last episode, we used a nuke to blow. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 who's this? Who's this? Whose mess is this? Hold on, hold on. Who is this guy? And what? What oh, is he doing? What the? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I make him my friend? Can I, can I make, can I make, I can't, I can't even hit him. You I are getting demolished. You know what? Henry. You know what, Ian? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Ian. It's fine because really? what I need to do is just shoot this. If I can just aim this right here. Okay. Okay. There we go. I hey, see wait, him. You, are I you see struggling? Him. You ready? Oh. And what yeah. did you just do? You know, I, I I learned from your nuclear power last episode where you literally have a, a weapon that just ex explodes the entire server. And um, I have created in today's episode my sticky bomb launcher. <laughs> what is? Hold on. What's this do? What is? Your soul has been bound to Sunday. Not again, not again, not again, Ian. Oh, like, okay, well, I Wait, guess... what is that? Oh, oh that looks hey, sick. Hey, look, 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 look at your house. You see that? You see that? Now, now it's stuck bombs. If you bombs. blow up my I'm, house, Henry. I'm, I'm sticking bombs to your house. I'm sticking bombs to your house right now. You see them? They're, they're all sticky and stuff, right? Henry! Look at all those bombs, Ian. Ian, go, go ahead. Go take a closer look at those bombs real quick. All right, I'm close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like them? You, yeah. like, you like these bombs? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I like them. They, they look go like, ahead they're like bowling balls. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wait, did you die? I died! I died! Wait, what? Did, did it you kill you? Yeah, wait, wait, did it kill you? Hold on. What? What just happened? 
What just happened? Oh, no, we just it just it, 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 okay, okay. So so these sticky bombs also have multiple things. You can like put them on blocks. Yeah. Do you see this? You see this? You see this? Oh. And then if, if I if I if somebody breaks this block, boom. Oh snap! Hold on, hold on. Check this out. You watch out! I'll, I'll, I'll sticky bomb you. I can also stick it to your head. Oh. Wait, is it on your can head? Can you hear me though? Wait, can you crap, hear me though? Crap, crap, crap. Ian, Ian, can you hear Ian, me though? Ian, can you hear me though? Ian, can you hear me though? Ian, can you hear me though? Can you hear me though? Can you hear me oh though? Okay. Anyway, no matter where you run, this thing that I'm holding, just what? listen. I'm listening. Wait, you begin to feel very sick. Wait, what are all those? Uh, Ian, what did you just do? <laughs> Ian? Anyway, is your is your health going down? My my health is just. Ch <gasps> It's because I have my hex breaker. My hex breaker saves me. <laughs> wait, really? <laughs> my hex breaker saves me from any potion effects. Wait, so if I if I remove that, hold on. Oh, oh, Ian, Ian, what are you what are you doing? Why why are you so why biting I have a me bomb again? Stuck in my head. Oh, you have a bomb stuck in your head? No, no, no. Crap, that did half my health. Crap, <laughs> Crap. Ian. <sighs> Just don't ever soul by me, okay? Don't ever soul by me. Wait, okay, so, so, sorry. so wait, if, if, if you use that curse thing and I'm not holding my hex breaker, what does it do? What's a hex breaker? It's the thing that removes. It stops your weapons doing anything. This one. Yeah, so, so do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Remind me to never let go of my hex breaker ever again. Oh my goodness. That is terrifying. That is oh, absolutely terrifying. No. no, no, Ian. I, you know what? I'm, I'm blowing up your house again. I'm blowing up your house again. It's, 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 I'm blowing it all up. It's going up. It's, it's going to be cakes. What are you? What are you? What are you? No, How does that not do anything to you? My hex. Oh, it does. Oh. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Think about your house. Think about your house. It's, it's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Boom. Yeah. It, it didn't do anything. Okay. Well, it is made out of bedrock. Anyway, you know what? Ian, I'm gone. I'm gone. I win. It, no. no.